Hi, welcome back to The Home Entertainer. I'm Kathy Bay. Today's topic is a really exciting one. We're here with a good friend of mine, Joe Hart from NCIT. They do a lot of great theater installation. So today's topic is five things to consider before you put the walls up of your theater. Hi, Joe. Thanks well, for joining us. Sure. So, all right, for you at home, I've been curious because obviously I know all about the furniture, but don't really get the pieces and parts that go into a theater room. So Joe, if you don't mind, can you kind of share with me some basic things of even like, what kind of TV? Well, we start with the room size, and then okay. we decide what kind of TV we're going to do. Okay. The most important thing is, with room size, is decide how many people you want in your theater. And then, pick out your seats, and then we build a theater around that. If you want eight people in your theater, you can't have a 10 by 20 theater. Right. You have to go to a little bit bigger theater. And then, getting your stage, correctly and designing your room is very important. So the smallest theater is 15 by 10, but you can only fit three seats in there. So most people will be trying to design the, the theater on the actual seats in there. Okay, so on average, how many seats do most people like to put in their theater? At least six. Six? Okay, so for a six person theater room, let's say two rows of three, how much space do you need about? You need 15 foot wide by okay. about 25 foot deep. 25 foot deep. Okay. And so from the back of, say, this chair to the front of the next one, what do you think how much room you're going to need there? Well, we just, it depends on what kind of chair you have again, because okay. some recline farther than the others, so that if it reclines, you're not hitting the seat behind there. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. So for our guide for you guys, check out the links below. We'll have some more details, which, which seats kind of go with which measurements. Um, all right. So we've got the room measurement. Now we need a TV? Right. we got to figure out if we're going to do projection or we're going to hang a big TV up. That's a nice one behind me, isn't it? How big is this? It's a 110 inch screen. And how big do TVs get? 120 inch TV, but they're over $20,000. Okay. Just for the so you don't recommend that for the budget conscious? Right. The most important <laughs> thing on projection or TV is going to be your light. So projection TVs only work when it's darker. They're getting better, okay. but if you're in a basement situation, um, you can use a projection. If you're in a room where you have a bar behind it or you have a lot of light, you might want to go to a TV. Okay. But the cost, there's a huge cost to put some TVs. So if somebody wants to do a theater room in their living room space, kind of make it like an integrated right. space, your recommendation is then a television? Okay. And obviously flat screen, we're not going with the old school anymore. <laughs> I'm still a little old school even though I'm younger. All right, um, so after that we need to talk about what, speakers? Speakers would be, for a theater you got to have surround sound. Okay. In the movie and you hear the surround all around you. So you have 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound. 5.1, 7.1. Uh, yeah. So What's you have the difference? three speakers in the front. Okay. And a subwoofer. That's four. Okay. 5.1, you have two speakers in the back. 7.1, you have four speakers in the back. Two wow. in the sides and then two in the back. The only thing you really get to hear on 7.1 is the new Blu-ray type movies and then the enhanced movies that are available on 7.1. Okay, so not all technology has caught up to the 7.1 system exactly. yet. Exactly. I'm but very smart when it comes to this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> all right, so you get the speaker. You get the speaker package, then acoustics? Acoustics is, uh, we only do acoustics when we actually have a problem in a lower end theater. In huh. a higher end theater, we build it into the cost of putting the acoustics in and then sound deadening the room so that you can't hear the, the you know, for instance, if you put a theater in, we can make it so you can't hear it upstairs. Okay. Um, but then acoustics in the lower end theater, you know, with the budget, you really can't get it in there. So. If we have a problem with where they have tile floors and mm. they have drywall ceilings and they don't have acoustic, any, it, it gets real bangy, so then we would do acoustics there. Okay. But with a higher end, or if you have carpet and the drop ceiling, you really won't need acoustic tiles. Okay. So it's kind of a design the theater with a higher end with real high base theaters. You need the acoustics to absorb that really loud, that base that you're and the acoustic panels, you can get them in a variety of colors? Or? Yeah, we yeah. custom make them just for that. We actually oh, cool. learn how 
you take mirrors and figure out which way the sounds are going and you absorb it. Okay. That sounds complicated and a whole <laughs> other webisode. All right, I have the million dollar question for you last but not least and then we'll cut you loose to go create some fun theater rooms. Does it cost a million dollars to make a theater room? No. What's the budget? Uh, for a good 5.1 surround sound system with a 106 inch screen, you can be as low as five to six thousand dollars installed. Wow, five to six thousand dollars. That doesn't sound like a bad deal from many memories and keeping your kids slash husband at home. <laughs> Is that true? Right. Yeah, people love them. <laughs> they are so excited when we come to do an installation that's like selling candy. That's really cool. So this is Joe Hart. Again, thank you so much for being here. No Joe is obviously very similar to Santa Claus, fulfilling mm -hmm. dreams, except not just December 31st or 21st, whatever, 24th. Obviously, I don't have kids yet. Um, so Joe, thank you so much. This has been a lot of fun. I really appreciate you guys watching at home as well, and hopefully you found this to be really useful. Uh, thanks for watching The Home Entertainer. I'm Kathy Bay.